Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Rinse Wash by Zara. So this fragrance is part of the Denim Collection. It says Denim Collection 01, so it's the first of the series. There are a couple of them. I know there's dark wash that exists and others that I forgot the name that don't have wash in the name. And this fragrance is a clone of Aqua Di Gio. It's a more simple Aqua Di Gio. And I'm gonna go more into that as I describe the fragrance. So anyway, here's what the bottle looks like. It's really simple, but I think it looks nice. Zeta fragrance are simple, but they do a good job. It looks also really solid. Now the box. Tried to remove the price so it looks better, but when I was removing the price, it was all getting destroyed, so I did it. And there's a little something written at the back, and it's kind of a no breakdown written in a way to make you want to buy the perfume. And it says, aromatic watery, as the pipe of fragrance. Aquatic notes, aromatic accord, Patchouli. Serenity as lifestyle mood. Breathe deeper into an infinite landscape. So, let's try to smell. So, it smells like a quadigio. Bit more like Profundo. Maybe like the original Aquadigio or Profundo and kind of... Both of them, I feel they are really, really similar. And it, it stays in that family of fragrance. So on paper, I'm picking up the usual aromatic accord of Aqua Di Gio, made with cologne and some other stuff, but mostly cologne. I would say there's a little bit of melon note, even though it's not declared in the fragrance. It smells almost like a Jolly Ranger melon. It's really hidden beneath everything. Somewhat it reminds me of Nautica Voyage and it's more like an Aqua Di Gio that will have a couple drops of Nautico Voyage into it. Picking up some spicy note also, but I need to really concentrate on picking up the note for that. Maybe some green notes also. But really the best way to describe what it smells would be to call it a sweet Aqua Di Gio. It doesn't have the complexity of the Aqua Di Gio, but it has a style. Now longevity for the fragrance is average from three to six hour, which for the price is really good and a lot of people they say they don't last long at all but really for something that was $22.90 it's it's great I mean some Zara that I got last lasted like two hours this is a bit bad but three to six hours average so it's good and the projection a little bubble around me people were able to pick it up now for the top notes there's one note per layer of note the top note is watery notes heart notes are aromatic spice and the base note is patchouli. And to keep going a little bit on the analysis of the smell, if you like Aqua Di Gio, you're probably gonna love it. If you like the complexity of the original one, you like to pick up some other little notes, maybe you won't really like it. But if you like the scent profile of Aqua Di Gio, you'll enjoy it personally. I think it's really good. And I only have samples of Aqua Di Gio, so I'm wearing this one more but I still enjoy it a lot. And for the price it is, I rather would wear this than an Equity Gio that will be way more expensive and especially the original Equity Gio that lasts not as long as this one by Zara. So I'd rather wear this one than the original Equity Gio. Now, if you go with the flanker of Equity Gio, you could argue that the flanker would be better and argue back, but the original thing this is better. Now for the type of fragrance it is, I would say Aqua Di Gio is a clean, classic fragrance, especially with the years, the amount of years it exists. So I would say that it could be a good business fragrance, especially for summer. It would be more something classic and elegant. Even though this fragrance is new, it's still got that vibe, classic and elegant. As a dating fragrance, it could be nice. It still, Aqua Di Gio is the most popular man fragrance. So I would say that Aqua Di Gio is good as a dating fragrance and this one too would be good in the winter summer spectrum it will be a great summer fragrance i love it for that it's probably going to be one of my go-to summer fragrance for the rest of the summer and probably until the bottle is over for other summers 
and knowing Zara, it's probably the only bottle I will ever have because they will discontinue it when they won't like it anymore or something. And as an everyday fragrance, it's really, this is the type of fragrance for an everyday fragrance, the smell and everything, so it will be really good for that. The only bad thing is that it lasts half a day, so you'll have to reapply it. But for the price, it doesn't matter, you can buy two bottles and leave one at work, or you can bring the bottle with you, it looks kind of heavy. I mean, if you drop it, it will break, but uh, you should be safe if you put it in a bag or in your pocket or something. Maybe a little bit big for a pocket, but you can make it work if you want to wear this for one for the whole day. But that's the only drawback. It's cheap, it smells great. You will often, no one has an everyday fragrance using this. The only thing, won't last the whole day. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you tried this fragrance, rinse wash. Tell me what you think about it. Also, if you tried any other fragrance of the Denon collection, tell me which other ones are good. And finally, if you know other Aqua Di Gio clone, tell me which one are great, which one you think uh, should give a try. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.